What I can see on that screen is not what I can see on my computer screen. I can't even see that. It's the fucking government, man. Do you think it's not? I think it is sometimes. I assume they listen to everything I say. They do. I'm sure. They do. You, you took a lot a, of boring shit. You took a bold stand, though, years ago when the governments were trying to poison their citizens. You took a very bold stand that nobody else took. That's what I was like, wow. I appreciate you because I lost three, four jobs because I refused to take it. I refused. I bet you feel better about it now. I'm, well, especially when you know all these people that have health problems because of it. Cancers have increased 300%. Yeah. Um, all cause mortality up 40% in some age groups. Pulmonary embolisms almost up like 500%. Yeah. Thrombosis. What would cause that? Well, Crazy. The spike proteins that's being built and collected within the, in the system. We can yeah. go into, I, I have a, I can walk you through what the spike protein did to the BRCA1 gene. That's the gene inside of our, our DNA that tells us that there's a damage. There's damage that's happening almost like the crews that, that go along the highway and they immediately put up cones every time there's a problem. Well, this, the spike protein, which is never, no, no spike protein has ever been able to enter into the nucleus of a cell. Not only did it, did it go to the ribosomes and say, hey, you know what? I don't want you to produce whatever protein, like if it was a skin skin cell, I'm, you're not going to produce keratin anymore. You're just going to produce these spike proteins. That spike protein went into the DNA and it tells the BRCA1 gene, turn off. And that's the gene that says, hey, there's a mutation here. Let's scrap that thing. And so now the cancers are building up. The spike proteins weren't shedding from the body. They collected in the ovaries. They collected in the lymph nodes. They collected in the bone marrow. So now we have all of these diseases that's showing themselves because the body is overwhelmed trying to deal with the spike protein that's attaching itself to the ACE2 and the endothelia cells in our um, vascular system for everybody out And the there. more boosters you get, boom, the you're worse turning your, your system off. Be. You're turning it yeah. off. Your body cannot defend itself, and it's just collecting. It's just collecting. But it, it also showed me the bizarre state of human psychology that people, if you're presented with what could be a potential solution, you want to believe in it so bad that you're willing to defend these companies that have been the most deceptive companies, proven deceptive, Pro not just deceptive, but deceptive in the way that they are allowed to distribute information. They're allowed to not be transparent about their studies. They could have multiple studies that show a negative cause or a negative effect, and they don't have to, they don't have to release those studies. And why? Because they're bought and sold. Because they, but I think it's an agenda to it. You think so? I think it's an agenda attached to it because they restricted any natural thing like ivermectin. I, Iver means like um, was it 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 caused ivermectin. Mectin for the Latin of it. The it was it was worms. And it was anti-worms. And what the ivermectin did, it's, it causes the worms to have paralysis or parasites to have paralysis because it stops their information from passing. And there's these things called the nodes of Ron VA between each neuron. There's an axion and there's the... Um, there's the axion and, oh my God, I just forgot the leg that comes off of dendrites. Those dendrites and the axions have these, these things called nodes of Ron VA where they're not allowed to touch each other. And it transfers potassium and, and chlorine back and forth to each other. Potassium, chlorine, chloride, and, and hydrogen back and forth. Well, in the worm, the ivermectin stops that to where the worms become p paralyzed. Hmm. So it was an immediate defense against the, the pathogen, but they immediately shut that down and wouldn't and allow also, anybody they, to use it. They showed that it stops viral replication completely in vitro. Yeah, they know that they don't. The, they know that there's a mechanism involved, and they try to pretend. And then they also try to pretend it's dangerous, which is insane. And they even got Rolling Stone magazine on board with it, where they they printed an article where they were showing these people that were waiting in line. Uh, for gunshot victims because uh, so many people were overdosing on horse dewormer. Yeah, well, that was propaganda. It was, it was a, it was a full-on lie. Not only that, the they were so stupid and clumsy about it that the image that they used, this is Oklahoma, 
The image that they used was like in the summer in Oklahoma, and yet everybody's dressed in winter coats. It was retarded. The whole thing was so stupid, but so obviously coordinated. It was confusing to me how many people were willing to go along with it and how many people were angry at people who didn't go along with it regardless of what they were saying. Even if what they were saying was reasonable, even if what they're saying, especially if you're talking about like Jay Bhattacharya and you know these, these people that were professors at esteemed universities and they were being silenced and there was a effort, coordinated effort to remove their posts from Twitter. This is wild shit. Yeah. Unprecedented wild shit. And the population was just going along with it. For me, what was fascinating was psychologically. Like, do you guys not know about deception? Do you not know about profit motive? Do you not know about the history of pharmaceutical drug companies in this country and what they've been able to get away with, with the, how many people they've paid? The Tuskegee experiment. Oh, my God. I couldn't understand how black people or people of color were running and trusting the government after what happened to them with the Tuskegee experiment. And for people that don't know what the Tuskegee experiment was, in the early 1920s, um, a group of government officials came down, doctors, and they went through the black community and they said, there's a sickness in all of you guys and we're going to cure it free of charge. And they injected the black population with syphilis and left it untreated for 60 years and just watched how it ravaged the body. For 60 years, it wasn't stopped until like 1970s, late 70s, that they stopped the experiment. And I don't even know if they've paid reparations. So, I'm, the, so the government has been using all of these chemical warfare or um, biological warfare against its own citizens Constantly. for a long time. Constantly. There's so, so many instances of it. So MK that's why Ultra. I didn't do it. There's so many instances of it, documented instance of, instances of it, and that's the Tuskegee experience, one of the most horrific. And the fact that it went on until the 70s is just fucking terrifying. But this is just the nature of having that much secrecy and control and profit motive and being able to enforce power on people. And it's a thing that human beings have always done. Whenever human beings have gotten into position where they're ruling over others, they, they are callous and, and evil, almost always, almost universally. There's not one instance of this amazing, benign, beautiful leader that transformed their society into this incredible utopia. It doesn't exist in history.